Hello, everybody. Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Trading Partners, along with Bob Iaccino. Checking in on Bitcoin. Bitcoin making a move back up. Ever it's gotten above this about 37, uh, 20 area and above, yeah, massive selling coming in. So the spike selling coming in, drifting down, spike up, selling coming in, all these selling coming in. This big push up going through our 37.80 level, then dropping immediately back down. So we're going to have to see. I'm leaving these levels on here because I'm not updating out. Since we didn't get a close in this area, they're still valid to watch for on a next push up. I'd be really focused on that 3780 to 3800 area to see if we can finally get a solid close in there that sticks without a lot of selling coming in. It's interesting. Let me switch over to the daily. Here's the daily chart. You can see right now that we drifted in the rotation zone the last couple days and trying to rotate back up it's also interesting i'm going to update these lower levels but this is also a uh, potential double top slightly sloppy but potential double top i'm going to put on those key levels instead of this little gain level in case it does fall back down and trigger again this isn't even confirmed in order for it to be confirmed it need to trade below 3640 in order to be triggered by us it need to close below 3640 then that will lead us back to about 3583 3554 cluster area Let's see what the prior gain level and 3526 so again keep an keep an eye out for that also it would be below the rotation zone so the rotation zone would be out of the way so it would be a higher probability potential double top finally let's switch over to weekly we haven't looked in the weekly for a while so you see let me zoom in here here we go even with this rally back up we're just to the bottom of the weekly rotation zone so this, I mean, it looks pretty impressive when you're looking at the daily or even the four hour, but we've only on a, on a weekly basis gotten back to the bottom of the rotation zone. Even to get to the top would be back to about 4,600 right now. So this thing could easily still rally into the rotation zone and be in very bearish mode. Keep that in mind, please. Switching over to Ethereum. Ethereum coming back up. Spiking up, just missing our 135.96 area, dropping back down, closing right near the prior highs. I'm going to update our our retracement levels, and now pulling back to spreading out rotation zone on the four hour and rotating back up nicely. Again, keep watch this one. Well, I'm just going to call it 136 at this point, and I'm also going to update these levels so people have them. So. Getting through 136, next key level 139.80, then 143.95 on any pullback. First area of support, we have this little shelf right here coming in with the ADMA coming in about 129.30. Uh, then we'd be watching about the 127.36. If we drop below the 126 area, this will be a false breakout, and then I'll be watching for lower prices. But as long as this rotation holds, watching for these key upper price areas. Let's switch over to the daily. Here's your daily. We drifted sideways, letting the 8 catch up. With 8 pushing the price now, price moving distinctly higher. Let's just look over here. There's no nothing here that I'm seeing. So there's a little shelf over here right by this highs. But once we get through there, there's no real major resistance up until we get to the 150 to 154 area keep that in mind it's pretty clear clear sailing once we can get above here so just focus on these intermediate levels we'll also switch over to the weekly chart just like we do with bitcoin now finally you can see here that uh we're now into the rotation zone so in the top of the rotation zone coming in about 173 right now, I'd be really focused on the strong rally up to the 160 area in the rotation zone. That would be a very clear target for us. That's all we have for you on Ethereum and Bitcoin, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.